Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. So today we're talking about a fragrance that's been out for many years now. It is a 2009 fragrance it's from the house of Byredo, and it is Ball to Freak. So before the video starts, if you like fragrance-related content and you like free fragrance giveaways, I hope you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements. Okay, so this fragrance um, has a very beautiful presentation. In this video, I'm going to show you the presentation. The box comes in and the beautiful bottle, which is very beautiful. It is minimalistic. Some people say it's kind of cheesy or simple or tacky. I do like this presentation from the House of Byredo. So I'm going to show you the atomizer. It sprays a lot. So nothing wrong with that. I'm going to spray it on this test strip. I wore this fragrance for about 15 days straight. It was funny because a lot of fragrances I always test out. I enjoyed it that much. I smelled it a few times at the mall. I couldn't afford it, but now I eventually had got it on sale. Let's just say um, I had a couple of discount codes or promotion codes from Neiman Marcus and the sales associate helped me uh, use them codes, redeem them and get this bottle for about 169, 170-ish. Okay, so the opening of this fragrance, it opens up, you're gonna get lemon, you're gonna get bergamot and you're going to get neroli. So you're going to get a bright, fresh, clean fragrance in the opening. Okay, so it's going to draw you in. As soon as you smell it on a test strip on your skin, you're going to love the way it smells because most people I know like fresh and clean, uplifting scents, but there's more to this scent. Middle of the fragrance, you're going to get that freshness, but it's toned down more. You're going to get this African marigold note in the fragrance and you're going to get some jasmine in the fragrance so it gives a little bit of a floral touch. Now some people might think it leans feminine and I do get a lot of people say it's feminine. I know guys that wear this fragrance, a lot of fragrance reviewers, women wear this fragrance too. So can it be unisex fragrance? Perfectly. I think anybody any age could wear this fragrance here. I think if you can afford it, let me just say that because it is a very expensive side of a fragrance. Now. That mid note of the fragrance, you get more of a floral touch and fruity vibe. I know my girlfriend smelled it on my skin and she sprayed it on her skin. And she said on my skin, I get a little more, she gets a fruitier vibe on my skin. But she still likes the fragrance, which is nice. And she likes it on her skin. So it's something that we could both wear. If she decides to wear it, not really sure. But if she does, I will definitely let you know in an updated video. But so far, she enjoys it the once or twice she wore on her skin and I wore it about 15 times on my skin to work. Um, I wore it casual and it's nice. It's not the most loud fragrance and it's not the best performance, but it does smell very good. The dry down, okay, so the dry down of the fragrance, you're gonna get some, some more cedar wood in the, the dry down and some vetiver. So the vetiver gives it that greeny, earthy touch, but it's not dirty vetiver. It's not stinky kind of vetiver. It's very green. Um, touch of fragrance, a lot of cedar base in this fragrance here, and it's nice. I think anybody that looking for something different than that's on the market, definitely check out Byredo Ball to Freak. Performance, projection, looking about one to two hours of projection. It's about half an arm's length, so it's not gonna reach out and grab people. When people get in your scent bubble or vicinity talking to you, they will catch whiff of this fragrance and actually really enjoy it. But just remember that it's not a beast mode fragrance. So you're gonna smell it throughout the day, but people around you has to get close to you to smell this fragrance. So don't look for a beast mode fragrance. This isn't it right here. Longevity, you're looking at about six hours. Sometimes I got seven hours, depending on how many sprays. I know a couple warmer days I've had here in Philadelphia, I've got about seven hours. And then on the coldest days, I got about six hours. So six, seven hours just on my skin. Um, just remember where you live at, your warm temperatures, this could be more of a warmer type of a scent, maybe not a cold weather scent, but by all means, if you have this fragrance, wear it whenever you want, enjoy your fragrance. Seasons and occasions. For me personally, I feel like this is going to mainly be a spring and summer based fragrance just because it's bright, it's airy, it's refreshing fragrance. But if you feel like you want to wear this all year round signature set, if you're indoors at work or around friends and family, so on and so forth, this is a great scent to wear casual. I wouldn't really dress it up. I feel like it's not that special to dress up, but you can wear it dressed up because if you're around close people, they're going to catch with it more than strangers walking by you. A nice sillage at least behind me. So I spray it in one room and like maybe 25 minutes I go back in there. I can still smell it in the room. It's not a beast mode fill room, but I say about half percent of the room, you can smell this fragrance in the air. The rating, um, 
alone, it's uh, 8.5. It smells amazing. You're gonna love the way you smell. People around you gonna like it, but the caveat or the or the negativity with the fragrances is gonna lack the performance. If you want something more than six hours, sadly gonna look for another biradal fragrance, or you're gonna have to just reapply the fragrance throughout the day. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I like the way this fragrance is. I think a lot of people have liked this fragrance because when I go to there to buy this fragrance, the lady sales associate told me that this is their number one selling biradal fragrance there. Then there is Gypsy Water, and then there's Mojave Ghost. I know my boy Louisiana Fragrances. Shout out to you, bro. He likes Mojave Ghost, and it's, it's a great fragrance. I have a sample he sent me, so thank you. But I like Balder Freak, and my second favorite is Gypsy Water. If you heard of Byredo Balder Freak, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, at the end of the day, you should definitely check this out. Go to Neiman Marcus, Saks, or Nordstrom and spray it on your skin. Maybe see if you can get a sample and test it out. Maybe you get better performance than me, and that's great. Maybe you get the same amount I get. Who knows, you gotta try it before you buy it. Thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, not subscribe to the channel. Hope you show your support. It's absolutely free. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements. I'll see you guys next video. Stay safe out there. Peace.